was that? I don't know. What was that? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> oh, dear. We're, we're scrambling around trying to find the stuff we bought that we were going to share. We can't well, remember. I got too efficient. I put it all on the shelves. And now I can't remember what we actually bought. No. Anyway, um, we'll, we'll remember, maybe. Yeah. We're actually quite warm so. for once. Hello. Welcome to, to the shambles that is this. <laughs> Hello. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers watching. Here comes Jeff. Jeff. Oh, that didn't take you long. What's up, Jeff? You might have to lift him up. Do you want... He knows, he knows when we go live. When we start talking in here, no. his little ears prick up and he appears. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he wants to come up. Come on then, come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so, yes, welcome and happy Mother's Day to uh, all mothers, grandmothers. How are you doing? Have you been spoiled? We went to visit your mother today. Yes. Um, my mum's on holiday, so we saw her last week. <laughs> I think that there might be a plan to see your mum when they get back. Yes, no doubt. Yeah. So I'll so say a few hellos and then we will crack on. We have a couple of bits to share and then we want to share with you some of our plans, which we've been a little bit vague about and we are we have much more certain plans now with our business moving forward so we can share that with you. Um, Adrian, hello, a sunny evening, all from Chippenham, Wiltshire. Uh, Secret Carpa, hello, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gary. Hope you're well. Hi, Leanne. Good evening. Uh, Pete's in. Santa's still at the North Pole. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a new name on me. What's that? The Outdoor Wheelchair Girl. Oh, cool. Hello, welcome. Hello. Uh, Anne is in. Hello, good to see you. Alan, hi, mate. Hope you're well. I think the boot sale we bump into you at is starting soon, isn't it? So Next Sunday, I think. We may venture over just just for, you know, we're not sourcing. Just for larks. <laughs> we're not sourcing. How many times? We're not we... sourcing, but we do need to buy a new trolley before next Sunday. Oh, we do. Our trolley died when we <laughs> went to a festival. Uh, so a few more quick hellos. Hello, yes, and happy Mother's Day to all the mums. Well said. Hello, Tim. And Mark... And Sleaford. Oh, Zahir's in. Hello, Zahir. Leslie. Oh, yes, only cool stuff. You can find them online and buy some cool stuff. Uh, good to see Zahir and Beck if you're watching as well. Right, shall we whiz to the end? Hello, everyone. Let's just say that. It's a lot quicker. <laughs> oh, Fletcher's in sunny Suffolk. Oh, we'll talk about Suffolk. And maybe Norfolk in a minute. So uh, we did pop in a charity shop. What were we doing over there? We were we were buying DIY stuff, weren't we? Um, we, we what were, were we doing over there? <laughs> we, I think we, oh, were we buying, went to donate some stuff. We dropped um, off donations, and we, we did go to B and Q. B and Q. We went to the dump to get rid of some garden waste. And the dump, yeah. So um, we, because we were there, we thought we'll go to the supersized cancer research. And had a quick mosey. I found... and I did an Instagram post, but I can't remember what I bought. <laughs> I'm sure I bought something breakable. Did I not? I don't did remember. I <laughs> it's so long ago, like a couple of days. Um, it's a wee guitar. Um, yeah, important. Oh, it's still got the price on it. Four. Uh, an easy flip. They these ones don't need a double. Oh, I remember. What? Um, I bought some egg coddlers. Oh, Some, they're um, on the shelf the here. Royal Worcester egg cuddle. No, they're not. They're on the oh. table in there because I picked them out to list for a vlog that I've got that's coming in soon next week sometime. <laughs> so you bought two coddlers. Yeah, two small ones, just um, single egg ones, Royal Worcester. But if you want to see them, I did a reel on Instagram. Actually, there is a short, if you don't have Instagram, there's a short on my YouTube channel which just shows the things I bought in a charity shop. He's checking it out for bombs. He likes to sniff things, yes. Not lick, but sniff. <laughs> um, so, yeah, two Royal Worcester coddlers. What, what do you think they might be worth? Um, well, you'll have to find out in my blog. <laughs> Your big tease. Um, I, I bought a wee fit blo blord, board. Did you? I don't know why, really. Was this four quid as well? 
I think it was. So I didn't really take take it in what how much you paid for that. I think I paid four on that. So yeah, it's just the black version of the Wii Fit board. Um, <laughs> Ian says hello, Jeff and crew. <laughs> Hello. The most important one in this house now. Hello, Jeff and crew. Wow, eight o'clock already. I know, right? Glad I'm subbed so I get a notification. Oh, I'm glad the notifications are working. Um, oh, quick hello to um, don't, don't squash the dog. Don't squash the jog dog. <laughs> I've not been drinking. Don't give me that look. Um, Phil. Um, Phil is buying all three of the minis that we have in stock. There's an Easter mini, quite a nice one. It says Happy Easter on her foot. Oh, yeah. Or feet. Phil is a, a mini collector. But, well, it's Phil's wife, isn't it? Well, he says that. <laughs> <laughs> and a classic mini and oh. a pink mini. Did I get you there, Jeff? Yeah. So, yeah, these are going over to Phil. So, thanks, Phil, for that. Um, you found this little guy. Yes. It's. Remember the uh, oh, oh. Know, that's a pain. Um, the original Care Bears. This one is Baby Hugs. Yeah, there's two. There's Hugs and Tugs. The Tugs is blue. Hugs oh, so is this pink. is the girl twin. Yes. Yeah. I know. Okay. Back, you know, back in the day where things were like, you know, yeah, pink, pink or blue for gender. <laughs> yes, gender stereotypes were rife in the eighties. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, he's um. Or she, should I say? Nice vintage 1980s. So I'm thinking what mid 80s these were, weren't they? Yeah, nice little find. It's got a nappy on. Yeah, the baby. So there was that. And then you also baby spotted, I think actually I spotted these. Yeah, you did. And we weren't yeah, pulled, sure. And then you went, oh, yes, because they're brand new. Well, you know. I don't think they've been used. Not brand new, but they haven't been used. I, I do. I always like when someone's at the boot sale and they go, yeah, it's brand new. It's, it's not brand new. It's second hand. <laughs> it's unused. Old stuff. But these, uh, they've got the cork backs and there's not a mark on them. Yeah. And there's, yeah, there's not a scratch on. So they're just um, classic scenes and paintings, aren't they? On the way to the medal. <laughs> yeah. That's how nice. Ian talks, you know. Is it? On the way to the medal. <laughs> uh, what's this one? Maidenhead Bridge, mm. all of that was it? Yeah, they're, they're really nice, lovely country scenes. What did you put on them? What does actually? It should say on the side what the what the design is. Um, oh, just English countryside. Oh, that's right. We couldn't find a price because it was on one of the mats. Yeah, and we had to dig it out. You need to remember to take that off when I list them. Well, you'll take pictures of them all anyway, yeah. so you'll find. It. I'll put it on the top if I can get to it. Oh, there you go. So that is that it? That that's the hall. The hall, and as as Carla says, the hall and all of the hall. Um, yes, we're not buying a lot, but we like to scratch the itch, if you know what I mean. Um, what's this? Buyer offered a cheeky offer on my item this morning. Then he carried on with further messages asking not to send it by tract. He wanted the second class not signed for. Is he trying to scam? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't send it not signed for. Yeah, you want some you, you tracking. Need, yeah, need some sort of tracking number. It's an odd request for someone to ask, isn't it? Can you downgrade the postage yeah, for me? it is odd. Yeah, no. Send it with mm. what you put on the Make list. Make sure you cover yourself. Hmm. Yeah, because if you don't have proof of, proof of postage and they claim it hasn't turned up, as far as eBay is concerned, you don't have a leg to stand on because you can't prove it has. So, yeah, we send everything with tracking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I hate at the boot, at the car boot, when they say new, never used, and yet covered in tomato sauce. Well, yes. Yes. Well, it's brand new. I only used it once. Yeah. That, I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brand new. I bought it twenty years ago. I've only used it once. <laughs> <laughs> used it. Yes, that's the definition of used. Yeah. Anyway, right. Let's try and keep somewhere near the end of um, the chat. There we go. Oh, picked up a Furby baby sealed in a box yesterday for Fiverr. Okay, cool. Yeah, people saying. You need the tracking, if at all possible, to prove that it's got where it was being, where it was going. We are in the process of an issue with some tracking on an item that we've sent, 
and that wow. was a big item. We won't talk about that because we are maybe putting out a video. We're kind of following the story of a problematic issue with a pair of skis, of all things, a ninety-pound pair of skis. Yeah. Yeah, watch this space to find out what happens there. Okay, so Secret Carpa says, what? Was I right in saying you wanted to upgrade your photo lighting or are you happy with them? Um, as looking to add lighting to my setup, yeah, I want to improve what I have in here because it's very dark in here, there's very little, if any, natural light, yeah. and I've got these square banks of LEDs. Um, which are okay, but they don't really give me enough. So I either need to get more of those or some some other solution. Um, in our kitchen, we put under, under cabinet lighting, like little strips of LEDs, and they're really bright. Yeah, they're really bright. They're really nice. So I'm thinking about setting up something that's poseable with strips of LED, LEDs on somehow to kind of... Oh. I don't know. It's, hard, it's a half well, thought I've had. you could your own kind of light box, I suppose. Yeah, but I put all sorts of size stuff here. Yeah, like that, a big one. Yeah, it'd have to be big, yeah. Hmm. So what that's what I'm saying. If it's on like a poseable arm, I can put the light where it needs to be. Okay. Close, far away. Yeah. But like I said, while you're at it, I think you need to change that background. Yeah. Well, when we move, I'm going to hopefully set up something new. So um, we wanted to talk about, we've been... Oh, look. Bang Daniel says, look up electroluminescent sheet. What's that? That electroluminescent sheet. Hmm. All right, remember that. I won't. <laughs> I'll just I'll screen grab the comment, and then we'll wonder what that picture is, and that will yeah. remind us. Um. So we've been talking recently about the fact that we're moving house. That has accelerated a bit this week in that we now have three agents coming round on Wednesday and Thursday to give us a proper valuation. And we're going to then put it on the market. Um, and we knew the, the property market here was fast, but talking to the agents, it should sell pretty much straight away. So we are going to be going potentially quite imminently. And we're also looking at another property uh, Tuesday, if we can. And we've had an idea for a while about um, this move being furthering our business creating a second business and the way we're going to do that and we think we can talk about it now because it's totally doable with the numbers that we've been looking at is we're going to buy a property and we are going to have hopefully within the same land a separate um, self-contained property that will we use as a holiday let so we're going to get into the holiday let business airbnb essentially yeah. tom just asked where are we upsizing we're kind of just moving sideways <laughs> <laughs> yeah no we don't want anything bigger we don't really need a bigger house we do need to house the ebay business um but the one we're going to look at is a victorian uh house with a separate self-contained annex ready to go we've looked at ones where we'd have to do work we've looked at one all different scenarios this one if it's right for us is almost ready to go we think we'd do some work yeah well, we? we'd, we'd change some things but so there you go. I mean, we've not talked about this as an idea, really, because we weren't sure we could make it work. But that's kind of the dream at the moment is to have uh, alongside what we already do, a holiday let business that brings in income. Um, super excited about it. And the one we're looking at next is actually Norfolk. Just over the border into Norfolk, not Suffolk. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah. we're looking for um, some kind of annex. Um and if we can't find that, then obviously a garden with space to have. We've looked into building to, our yeah, own. To, to look at building our own. Um, yeah. Oh, he's molting so much. He is molting. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, there's the potential of not spending all of the money on the house and leaving X amount to build one. And we've looked into those. And that's a really popular choice these days for granny annexes or whatever. But, of course, you can use that as a holiday let just as easily as long as you can divide the access up if yeah. you don't want shared access etc um yeah um aaron was just saying that he has um let's go back can we do it uh, 
Oh, so a great idea. My Airbnb clients are booming at the moment. Yes, it is. It's not an easy option, but it's kind of, it's kind of a lot of it is autopilot as in there's not a great deal of work involved and for us it means our property will uh, will work for us you know it's all very well staying here we, we have a lovely house here and it's great but we live in it and it doesn't afford us that potential if we move well, it's kind of northeast for us we get a lot more for our money and suddenly our property is earning us money as well so that's that's the idea in a nutshell. Whether we ha I might actually speak to you, Aaron. We may see if we can split that off as a separate company, just yeah. just because you know the reasons, because it's better financially for you that way. I don't know how we could do that, but yeah, it's very exciting. We're beyond excited about the house we're going to view. Hopefully Tuesday. <laughs> you know, well, it's I, really I hard not to let yourself crossed. get carried away, isn't it? Yeah, we've kind of poured, we, we just love it. We've poured over. We've moved so in mentally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it so, may not be right yet. It may not be because things are different when you see them in person. Yeah. So there you go. That's that's what we want to do. <laughs> um, as well as obviously the app, which is still motoring along. We are um, getting there. Don't ask me when it's coming out, please. Um, Okay, let's see. Oh, what does Tom say there? It's worth looking into companies like Sykes Cottages. Sykes Cottages. Uh, my dad rents out an, an annex in his garden. That's just jumped. Um, um, are Airbnb not limited to three months a year? No. I didn't think they were. No, they're not. Not as far as I'm aware. I mean, you can go onto Airbnb and you can book way ahead. and You can yeah. do the whole year. Yeah, we, we Airbnb are super flexible as well. You can let out a room in your house all the way up to an entire house. Um, so, yeah, they all cater right. for all sorts. And it's all year round, I'm pretty sure. Kev's business is he's an Airbnb photographer. Oh, when your annex is ready, let me know and I will come and photograph it for you. That would be awesome, Kev. I don't know how far off any of this is. Um, it may happen in a few weeks. It may take six months. Um, but, I mean, just exchanging on a property takes a couple of months yeah, these days, isn't it? It's not just. It's not a quick process, is it? It. It. Yeah. But that would be fabulous. And we will want to do a certain amount of work to get it right and and convert it to what we want. Yeah. Change access and stuff. But we'll make lots of fun vlogs about that yeah. <laughs> nearer the time. It'll be a fun process. Somewhere to send Nick when he misbehaves. <laughs> what, the annex? The annex. <laughs> Get in the annex. There might be guests in there. Get in there anyway. <laughs> go and sit with the guests. No, then, then you'd have to go in the coal shed. <laughs> uh. Oh, I go to Norfolk Boards every year. Such a lovely place. Yes, I, I used to go once a year when I was a teenager and into my early 20s. Um, haven't been for years. So we, we would be within striking distance of that. Sounds good, but it will end up being a new tat cave for you. No, see, mm, well, we won't go into what some of the ideas we've got, but <laughs> there's an element of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Phil is in. Are you coming up to near where I am working this week? Um, it's not a million miles away. I'll have to message you. If so, I've got a large roll of brown wrapping paper. I'm here till Friday. Oh, OK. I'll have to yeah, drop you a line. We may be able to make that work. Um, plus, you could do with more LED lighting when you move with cool white LEDs as they are brighter than warm white. And strip lighting, lighting may be best as they would allow you to place the lighting where you. I want to know what the end of the sentence is now. Where well, you yeah. want more easily than non-strip lighting. Oh, it's right there. So, <laughs> yes, that does make sense. But we do need to rethink how we're going to how we're going to run the business in a new house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Good luck with your new venture. My sister does Airbnb as well, and she earns good money. Yeah. Um, I've also been diversifying away from eBay and going back to school actually to learn stocks. Oh. Wow. I've yeah. I've looked. 
I've been very interested in stocks and shares for a long time. I've just never taken that leap. I'm very much more tangible items. Uh, that's both of our kind of comfort zone, isn't it? But I've never taken the jump to investing in that way. Um, so we're essentially investing in ourselves and in a physical property is what yeah. we're doing that, that will then potentially earn us a, a good income depending on how, you know, what am I looking for? How many days you can get it let? Yeah, the occupancy. But we were looking at some around that area and they were like fully booked Yeah. right now. Leanne, so Leanne says, my friend mm. Jane built an Airbnb lodge in her garden, which was very busy until she sold the house. If you need any hints, hints and tips about it at some point. Yeah. So that's interesting. That's interesting. It's it's a really popular thing to do these days. And there's there's lots of people on YouTube talking about it. I've been watching videos about Airbnb hosts, as they call them. Um, we've been using Airbnb as customers for the last, I guess, four or five years now. So we know the ins and outs of how it works. Um, but yeah, any advice and tips on being a host, because we've never done that part. Yeah, we'd be really interested. Yeah. Ugly Watchtower says, why not sell your home yourself? Purple bricks save agents fees. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an option. It is a consideration. Um, we are getting three agents in to, to give us with their local knowledge and accurate valuation, who we go with is entirely up to us. We could still do it ourselves. The bonus of using a local agent would be that they already have people on their books waiting for houses just like this to arrive. But those same people would be scouring right move, you know, and purple bricks for the same houses anyway. Yeah, yeah I know. That's the decision we'll have to make who we go with. Mm. Um, oh, Lainey, is it? What's Lainey laughing at? Hi, Lainey. I think she and um, Stall are laughing at your egg situation. My egg situation? Maybe not. They just keep like to keep reminding me of the drama of my egg situation. It might not be even be that. I just saw eggs and that remi I was reminded. I'll of share it. for those that don't know in a minute what that means. Um, I've let my Prague apartment. Ooh. Ooh, aid. He's sick. got a Prague apartment. That's swanky. Yeah. That was swanky, by the way. Um, I've let my Prague apartment out on Airbnb, but I more but I more to sort found it at a distance. Don't know what that means. But Airbnb easy to do. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, it seems a very efficient website. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's more difficult to do a distance or something. Like that. Yes, maybe. because you'll have to get have an agent to go in and tidy up and and do all of that, yeah. do the linen. Yeah. So, yeah, the egg reference that they might be alluding to is... Oh, yeah, here we are. Uh, can't wait to see the reviews where Nick makes the eggs for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I eat a lot of eggs. I cooked myself four poached eggs on toast. Runny yolk has to be runny yolk. And I dropped the whole thing on the kitchen floor. But it didn't just go on the kitchen floor. They went all up the kitchen cabinets, all across the floor. All the runny eggs went. I was mortified. It was such a waste of food. More than anything else, it was a waste yeah. of food. <laughs> and then I had to cook it all again. Nothing worse than redoing something like that. And sweeping up your dinner when it's still warm. Oh, oh it's depressing. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I scared Jeff because I was shouting and, and effing and jeffing a little bit. Effing and jeff. And he didn't like that because we don't raise our voices much. So Jeff was like, oh, my God, Dad's shouting. <laughs> There's a super chat. There is. But um, I just want to, Dan, the man, made a comment there I was going to highlight. Will you be documenting your Airbnb journey on YouTube? That would be great mini series. Yeah, we're I, thinking of that. I think so, yeah. but it may well go on Andrea's channel because the main channel, this one, is is very focused on the eBay buying and selling. So mm -hmm. we will probably document the new property and and what we do to turn it into an Airbnb on your channel. We had that discussion today, didn't we? I think that would be a better mm -hmm. fit. Um, so if you're not sub, the link to Andrew's channel should be below. And there is reselling content on there as well if you want some of that. So, yeah. Um, I live in Norfolk, moved from London, love it up here, budget moon. Yeah, Norfolk is lovely. Norfolk and Suffolk. I mean, we kind of fell in love with Suffolk over the last 
year or so, didn't we? Um, that pulls us back. But South Norfolk is pretty much the same. It's really gorgeous country, really nice small towns and villages. Um, and there's some cracking boot sales up there, <laughs> there as well, which doesn't hurt. Uh, we don't have a new house yet, um, but we have seen properties that fit the bill with what we want to do. It's just, it's a very, it's a seller's market. So getting your hands on a property can be quite competitive. So, mm. but we will make it happen one way or another. Yeah. We're, we're pretty committed to this being. And we're pretty sure we know what we want now. The idea now. Yeah. Um, and there are several ways of doing it. Um, will you be getting rid of all the tap before moving? Probably not. <laughs> I doubt we'll get rid of all of it, but especially as boot sale season is starting again. <laughs> we're getting itchy feet for boot sales, but we have reduced ours. We used to have this was pretty much constantly full. Andrea's back office was pretty full. The loft used to be quite full of stock as well, and the spare room. Now it's this is all we have now. Yeah. There's a there's the overstocks of shoes, which are very few now as well, in the loft, mm -hmm. and that's it. So we have reduced it massively. Well, this is about a third of our normal stock holding, let's say. Yeah. Um, and we are going to we are going to really push it before we move to get rid of loads, aren't we? Yes. Yes, she says. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is the plan. Um, oh, we're miles behind now. We are indeed. What was that about an agent? Go up, sorry, I just sort of. I found it better dealing with buyer. I sold better money than agent. I guess that's talking about using purple bricks and promoting it yourself. And they use right move. Mm, they do. Yeah, I don't know yet. Jury's out. See, Alex contrasting, better to pay a good agent, might get you 10K more, will pay for itself. Well, interestingly, that we had a very long chat with the first guy, didn't we? Yeah. And he sold a couple of properties very similar. And he said um, they did what we want to do, which was have an open day or an open weekend. He would vet certain buyers and just let the, the right buyers come in and see it. And then basically they put their bids in. And he sold one at 10K over the asking price. So it's not that we couldn't do that, but it's a lot of stress and arranging. Yeah. And like you say, an agent to manage all of that, it might be worth the fee. You see what I mean? Mm. It's feeling like the way to go in some senses. Um, Norfolk born and bred porkies. Yeah. You should definitely share any DIY projects when you're in the new place. I think we will share what we do to the Airbnb and get that up and going. Yeah, we might share some things, you know, decorating the house. and. Yeah, you know. how, how are we going to squeeze an eBay business <laughs> into it, this? Literally, I just, just put my hand down and it's like like snowing. Oh, it's going all over my office. We need to get them <laughs> trimmed, don't we? Um. You are correct, Andrea. It was about the eggs. I rent one of my houses out, luckily to a family member. Oh. Excellent. That's a good position to be in. Well, we said that about Ellen, didn't we? She, you know, Found she, it. She can't find somewhere to live. She can rent it. <laughs> Sorry it took us so long. Podcast Cinephile. Thank you so much for the super chat. I recently discovered your channel a few weeks ago and you've helped me become a better eBay seller. Wow. Oh, wow, that's good. Thank you for that. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Have you seen Mean Queen's channel? No. No? No. We will try and check that out, Lee. Let me just blow my nose. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Got itchy nose, but also covered in hair. Um, what do you mean dropping poached eggs on the floor is the best thing to do with them? <laughs> I love poached They're the best thing ever. The best breakfast is poached egg on toast. And I don't care what you say. Sets you up. 
You're looking at a vegan. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, Daniel was at Comic-Con. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, those sort of events are back on now. COVID is what we're coming out the other side of it and all all bets are off now with COVID. You kind of do what you like now. There's no real restrictions, are there? Yeah. So we can have events like that. Um, Carol says we bought the house next door to us for this purpose. We we do Air, Airbnb. Good to check on any parties going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is that. I suppose there's plus sides and downsides to everything, right? If it's within a stone's throw, it's kind of right on top of you. But you know when they're wrecking the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can, you know, it's easier to maintain as well. Easier to manage it if it's on your doorstep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, interesting. Other people are doing this as well. Lots of people, actually. It's interesting. Mm. Norfolk is a great place to source stuff. Good to know, Stuart. Estate agents get a bad press. My daughter is one. She is a sales progression manager and regularly rescues deals to keep them on track buyers and sellers have unrealistic expectations oh that's good that's interesting yeah interesting it's been a long long time since we bought this 16 years Mm. um we had a good chat with a couple of agents because things have moved on as well certain things have changed and about how they do things and stuff so it's yeah i'm looking forward to it now i'm looking forward to getting the ball rolling getting the valuations in Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's happening. It's all, all it's happening. happening <laughs> next week, really, isn't it? Um, well, if I ever go to Norfolk, I will have... Yes, yes, you would be welcome, Tim. Yes. Hello, Neil. And thank you, Neil, for the... Neil kindly gave me a bag of goodies. Uh, I haven't listed any of it yet, Neil. <laughs> it's sat on the floor. But thank you. It's good to catch up the other week. Um, hi Lee. Oh, what are your top three boot sale items to look for? Top three items? Oh gosh. What do you go for? You home in on ceramics. I just yeah, home in on vintage ceramics. Yeah. Um, vintage homeware really. So I am always scanning for anything video game related, but I find less and less and less now because it feels like everyone in his mother is buying video games now. When we started this in the late 90s, I would, fit, if I had a trolley then, I'd fill it up with video games every week. You just don't see as much. Or they well, they disappear within the first five minutes yeah. of a boot sale. That's the reality. Yeah, you've got to be quick. Um, so many people are collecting and reselling. Yeah. And they, video games are a known what are you doing? You want thing. to get down? Are you trying to get down? I'm not sure. Do you want me to pick oh, it? Yeah. Right, wiggle, come, wiggle, wriggle. Come this way, wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. <laughs> right, so say, say goodbye. Say goodbye. He's decided. Oh, hello. <laughs> what, what am I doing up here? You say goodbye, little Jeff. <laughs> yeah. So what do I? What do I go for particularly? I still love a bit of media. I can't help rummaging through media. I do browse more vinyl these days because I'm now a complete vinyl addict myself. Yes. Turns up every day. I have to get out of bed. Oh, oh to, did um, someone mention vinyl? <laughs> to answer the door because he, he won't wake up. <laughs> this week's addition to the collection is Depeche Mode's Cover Me. This was this their, yeah, this is their most up to date single. Um, off their last album, Spirit. This is a sealed double. 12 inch single not even opened it yet gorgeous <laughs> uh we are so hey chris yes i did say there are a few yeah just monkey thrifters comment above nick very sad news about taylor hawkins drummer from the Foo fighters yeah we just, found out devastated and... really absolutely devastated you wouldn't see that. I mean, they were touring. They were in the middle of a tour, weren't they? Yeah. Just can't get my head around it. <laughs> no. no. No, it's a shock. It's only 50. 50 years old. Mm-hmm. Yes. Shocking. 
They don't know the cause yet. No. Yeah, our thoughts are with him. His family, obviously. He's got kids, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, and the band, I mean, imagine Dave, you know, of course, he lost his best friend or, or very close friend in Kurt. And now he referred to Taylor as his best mate. Yeah. yeah. That's going to knock him for six. Yes, yeah, so our thoughts go out. Um, what? What are you going to do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk? <laughs> Flog it. That's what I'm going to do with it. Adrian is in. Hello. Hope you're well. I would be a little worried about people looking around the house with all that stock inside. Well, it's all in the office. And we'll obviously declare this is our business and they can poke their heads in and have a look. We're not going to let them rummage through it all. <laughs> I do need to tidy up in here. I've got boxes everywhere that way. Yeah. Well, if we're planning to go and look at a house on Tuesday, we've only got a day. Yeah. So we need to get on it. Luby Lou asks, anyone else know what it says on Andrea's jumper? Driving me crazy trying to read it. Um, it says, the wildest ride in the wilderness. It does. And if anybody knows the reference and why it says wildest, ri wildest ride in the wilderness, then tap points are available. Oh, we're <laughs> handing out tap points now. Yeah. Um, get George to help with the DIY. I hear he's an expert. Well, when I was down there with George, he was telling me he's anything but an expert. <laughs> um, yeah, I do enjoy a bit of DIY. Um, oh, Chris is saying Catherine's house is in Norfolk. Oh, if you sell your home yourselves and need any help with the land registry forms, give me a shout. That's my day job. Wow. OK. That does sound like a big headache. <laughs> um. I wonder if the people who buy your house at Nick and Andrea realise what's gone on in your... It would be weird, wouldn't it, if somebody who had actually watched the videos yeah. ended up buying this. It it's doubtful. But you never know. Kath which Catherine's that now? Chris is Catherine. Oh, of course. Sorry, I didn't even <laughs> notice it was Chris commenting. Sorry, Chris. I'm a bit slow on the uptake. Right, Catherine is in Norfolk. North. Book. Um, starting an eBay business during lockdown, and it saved my bacon until I could find work in my line of work. Learned so much from you two. Thanks. Back working now and donated 15,000 books, really? Wow. To charity. Does, it, does that meant to say 15,000? I don't know. It does. Can you imagine that charity shop on that day? Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Good evenings, Zach. Yes, well, we've, we've had discussions about the vinyl collection room, haven't we, today? Yeah. We were, we were joking I, today. Yeah, there's like a smaller third bedroom, which weirdly doesn't have a door. It's like a sort of tagged onto the house and from an extension and i said oh that would make a nice dressing room and he said sorry that was a co vinyl collection room did you say i'm sure that's what you said that's what i heard <laughs> you see this one's already moved into this house we haven't even viewed i yet. have i've decided what part of it i'm extending um, <laughs> what color i'm painting it <laughs> we're, we're extending it now i know it's we are well aware that the chances of us getting this house are slim, but we, we do enjoy. We do enjoy. I'm, I'm attempting to manifest. Running away with the plans, don't so, we? So you know, thinking, um, thinking positive thoughts about it. George is in. Hey, DIY George. <laughs> Hopefully, George will be coming up this way at Easter. We were saying before. Oh yeah. Early Which behind. when is Easter? Soon. It's very soon. A couple of weeks. Oh. Yeah. Um, an estate agent follows the sale as well, chases solicitors, checks on things. They come at a price, but do offer a certain peace of mind. That is true. Yeah. And you get a service. 
mm. that people do like to moan at estate agents, but doing it yourself would be, and whether we would have the time and focus to do that, because we yeah. would still be running our eBay business and I would still be managing the, the app development. Do I really want to be learning all about conveyancing and whatever, whatever goes into it? Mm. You know, dealing with all the people wanting to view it, dealing with the offers, dealing with whatever. I don't know. I think it's more likely at this point we will go with an agent, I'll be honest, but we will look into the options, I think. Um, but yeah, good to see you, Kimmy Kitty. Uh, what else have we got? Sorry we're so behind as ever. Is Matt Walker in? Let's scooch up a little bit. Yeah, Matt. There he is. Oh. Hello, Matt Walker. Um, hi, Paul's good this weekend. Any more dumps to find, Nick? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was... I, it would have been great if I'd have actually filmed finding that stuff, but um, it was pitch black anyway. But that was a shock. It's a spot where I just go to find cardboard, um, not even that often. And I just got lucky that the first bin lid I picked up, I was like, oh, it was dark. Like I said, it was dark. I put the light on my phone. I shouldn't have. Oh, blimey. That looks like a mm -hmm. PS2. And then quickly yanked it all out and had a look at it the next day. Well, that's the video, basically, us going yeah. through and discovering what it was. So the bits that you can't resell, you've taken apart and you resell. Yeah, some of it you? was so, worthless. and So it won't take up landfill space. We're going to recycle yeah. bits. Yeah. Well, I need to do a scrap run anyway with all my copper wire, with all my brass, aluminium, yeah. all of that stuff. And then we put the rest out for the Yeah, the carcasses. And the, the PS2, well, the Xbox now does eject, but I don't know if that's functioning. The PS2, I can't make that turn on. That's going to be sold as spares repair. But mm -hmm. when you pick it up for nothing, it doesn't matter, even if I get yeah. 20 quid for the PS2 sold as seen. I don't know. It's nice knowing that that would have been in landfill by now if it had stayed in there. Have you been to the doctors yet? Asks Lee. Sorry, missed that. What now? You no, but sense. yes. No, but yes, but no. Um, I did whip out the hard drive from the Skybox. Uh, a few people were saying that's an easy sale. Mm -hmm. And the Skybox itself was hardly worth anything, and the hard drive will sell. So. Scott Rivers says, do you ever find the weather can affect sales? I feel less people buy when the weather is sunny. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, people are out enjoying themselves. Yeah. <laughs> And why wouldn't they? I <laughs> don't want to do. Unless, don't want to shop. <laughs> unless you're selling paddling pools, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then, then sales go up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do need to go to the doctors. Those that were asking, um, I haven't yet. No. A day in the life of Pete asks, "What is an Airbnb?" Airbnb is uh, an online company that. It acts as an agent for people who have a room or a property or a house to let. Um, so it's a holiday rental company, really. Uh, they have an app and a website. Um, and anybody can become an Airbnb host if you've got, like I say, it could just be a room in your house or an annex, as we're going to do, or a whole property. And you pop it on there and they take their commission, obviously. Job's done. Can you not get vegan bread? I think most bread is vegan, isn't most. it? Um, hmm. George says, just stay out of Essex, you two. We've looked at Essex. We can't find the sort of property we're looking for. So we probably will stay out of Essex. <laughs> Neil says, I missed the beginning. Are you airbnb the place you plan to move to separate building in your house or additional property? Separate, uh, fully contained building yeah is like the a... ideal and the, the property we want to go and look at tuesday yeah. has that it wouldn't take a little bit of modification but not much so it would be yeah separate building fully contained as in bathroom kitchen the whole works what you looking for Hi there, Amelia, who's who's 11 years old, wants to know if you'd be interested in buying all her teddies for a lovely jubbly price, especially her teddy called Cubby. 
<laughs> wow. Well, we're although we did buy a few bits today, we're not really in the kind of sourcing mode right now. So probably not for um, us. Yeah, apart from vintage plush, it's not really yeah, something it, that we do. It would also honest, depend. But, yeah, you know. <laughs> it would depend what they were, but yeah. probably not right now for us. But thank you for the offer, Amelia. But thanks, Amelia. See, that's the spirit. You don't know if you don't ask. Exactly. Um, yeah. If not, pop them on eBay yourself. See what yeah. happens. <laughs> Do we as subscribers get a healthy discount? Uh, possibly. There may be a come direct to us and get it at a discounted rate skirting around the Airbnb commission. I would imagine. Um, somebody was asking just above, was that? Oh, that. Well, that we did share what happened with the game dev cart, the N64 one that sold in the end for a thousand pounds. And yeah, I was happy. And that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah, that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah, that, that was fun in games. That was at the time, wasn't it? Um. Oh, enjoying the Harry Potter book I bought off you, Nick. Good. Bristol, if you're ever in Bristol, we have tons of charity shops. Yes, we've been in a few because we, uh, obviously, the lovely Carla lives down that way and we've visited hers for parties a couple of times now. Uh, we actually went, she was a little bit livid when we popped down oh. there. We, we found a, a random yard sale and made out. We just got loads of good stuff. And she's like, there's never yard sales around here. You turn up, <laughs> pop out. I think we were popping to the chemist to get something for me. Yeah. And we came back with a boot full of stuff. And she's <laughs> like, how do you do this? <laughs> we attract the tats is what we do. But yeah, Bristol's good for tat. There's some decent boot sales. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um. See, now... I just uh, want to highlight this comment would. because this, I was saying to Nick earlier, this annoys me. This is the headline, 10 different drugs found in his system. Yes, the, most, the hardest drug found in his system was marijuana. They found opioid, which could be, he just took a couple of painkillers. You know, he might have had a headache. Um, they found antidepressants. It's like there was nothing that wasn't what you could buy over the counter. It just, this kind of sensationalism really well i hope people me off i hope people it, don't jump to the it conclusion wasn't a drug overdose but no. that's what they insinuate with these headlines and it yeah. just pees me off so save my piece it, <laughs> yeah and they, they haven't released the cause of death no. yet it may just be that he had a heart attack or something yeah we don't know no we don't know uh what's they were saying sales gains for me but i've only just listed for the first time in six weeks well that'll be it then <laughs> i've not listed much for like a good couple of weeks now um we've been so focused on getting the house ready and other things um yeah yeah next week's gonna be housey 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 things uh lots going on with the app um, we had a meeting last night. I think we're going to have one early in the week as well. Um, it's all happening. It's all happening at once. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. <laughs> oh, that heart failure. Oh, was it? Okay, well, we haven't seen that yet because we've been out all day. Just sell them some while they're here. <laughs> <Have> we... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we could try. Uh, died of heart failure. His heart was double normal size, so that's a long. But you see, an underlying was, condition. He then. was years ago, a, a you know, a drug addict. But oh, so, he had his struggles with drugs. For I sure. mean, this is exactly what happened with George Michael. You know, he was clean, but he'd suffered with you know different addictions in the past. And but it takes a toll on your body. Yeah, it does, and it's just it's just incredibly sad. Yeah. So the lesson in this is: look after yourselves, people. Yeah. Look after yourselves. Um, are you giving up eBay? No, not at all. We will carry on with that. Uh, we are diversifying and hoping to build up um, a holiday let property, um, which will supplement our income and perhaps mean we don't have to work so hard on eBay. But it all depends, doesn't it? How how much income yeah. we can 
we, we could never give up eBay because it's no. in our in our blood. We just love we love it. We love reselling. So We'd have to stop sourcing if not... we gave up eBay. <laughs> exactly. We could never give up reselling. So maybe arrange a yard sale and an open house at the same time. Can you imagine <laughs> that chaos? <laughs> What sort of an idea is that, that Stephen? That poor estate agent, he'd be like, what the heck's going on here? Are you here to buy the house or some tats? This is the tat queue, this is the house queue. <laughs> oh, dear. What's Neil saying? It's a Disney thing. What, what's that in reference to? What? It's a Disney thing. And then Kimmy Kitty said Disney. What's that in reference to? Disney? Well, I don't know. We're so far behind. I don't know what it is. Oh, I was about my jumper. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yes, Neil, you're right. <laughs> I'd forgotten all about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Big Thunder Mountain. <laughs> we, we've got to do a recap for Hamster yeah. Nibbler. So, um, hang on a minute. Who got Big Thunder Mountain? Oh, we forgot so... to check. <laughs> right, we're not giving it for it's a Disney thing. No. Way too So, brave. Leslie got Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yes. Right, um, sorry, Leslie. Porky's Discounts. Um, chat points to you too. Big Thunder Big oh, what? No. we'll give you that. We'll every, give you that. You're giving tap points to everyone who got it right. It's just the first some. the first one gets yeah. tap points. Well, two people got big Thunder Mountain-ish kind of hop, so yeah. So a recap for who was it? Hamster somebody. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, we've we've been talking about moving for a while and we've been trying to work out um if we could afford to do a plan that we've had for a while. And we're pretty sure we can make it work with with the numbers now, which is to buy a new property, but also have a separate self-contained annex, which we will develop as a property, uh, as a rental property, mm. but not just a rental property, an Airbnb specifically. Uh, so that's what we are planning to do. <laughs> What that sounds like the lyrics from Stan, the the Eminem <laughs> song. Is that what it is? I don't know. It must be because who who's got a pager these days? A pager. I remember when we when I first met Andrew, you gave me your pager number. Do you remember? Yeah. Well, page page you know, me. Back then, that's what we did. Um, <laughs> you were yeah, so, so trendy. Anya, um, it's we're looking to um, have an Airbnb. In a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, in a nutshell. That's a quick way of saying it. We, we would like to get into the Airbnb business as well as what the other things we do. Um, Daniel says, check out the back of British Heart Foundation shops. They often throw out good stuff. Yeah, it is a very grey area. Just putting it out there. Um, dumpster diving. If depending on whether you are trespassing or whatever you you could potentially get in trouble so be cautious if you're going to experiment with that i don't generally go and fish out stuff i just go for cardboard um and i've bumped into people two or three times actually and they sort of look at you like what are you doing i just say hi yeah, i just need cardboard boxes is that okay and they just two twice actually they've helped oh, do you want do you want all of these yeah. sure yeah. i've got some more inside and they're, they're totally fine with it but technically, it, there can be issues within the UK with fishing stuff out of bin. So just take that on board if you're going to have a go at that sort of thing. I know we all watch the American videos, or you may have seen them, where it seems like a free for all over there. Do we like? Mm, um, it's not quite the same here. No, I mean, great friends of ours, Steve and Steph. The stuff they find in dumpsters in America and rescue from landfill. Yeah, it's crazy. They fill up their car. It's just mind-blowing what gets chucked away yeah. um miss princess pancake says happy mother's day andrea thank you and to you um says i enjoyed a nice lunch in preston village and then pudding at the rusty gun we like the rusty gun rusty we? gun we've yeah. been up there for a few meals haven't we yeah it used to be was it royal oak yes yes it was a royal oak yeah i remember taking mum and dad there when we had the shop one christmas we went for like a christmas meal yeah, because mum and dad, when we had the the gaming media exchange shop that we had for the best part of a decade, we had Ellen as a, she was a young kid then, and my parents, bless them, they would they would have Ellen every Saturday, um, 
and we used to take them out for a Christmas meal on our the business. Works, our works do. <laughs> our, our work celebration and a thank you to my parents. Yeah. And we, one year we did take them over to the Rusty Gun, which wasn't the Rusty Gun then. No. I think we've only had a drink in the Rusty Gun. I don't think we've ever had a meal there. Oh, Not... no, I mean, maybe in the beginning just to try. No, it. we did. I think we did. Yeah. I think yeah. we took your nan there. It's a lovely yeah, building, that really isn't it? Lovely, yeah, lovely pub. So nice, right yes. up that far end. There's that big fireplace, isn't there? In there, yes. We sat there after a walk once, which was really nice. Had a glass of wine, yeah. Sat by the fire. Well, it's not far from that pub where there's the the abandoned um, church place. Yeah, you can walk to it from there, can't you? Yeah, it's really mm. spooky. And we noticed the scaffolding up all around that. So I don't know if they're what they're doing with it. No. Yeah, that'd be interesting. So Tim says, I'm the same as you, Nick. I could have a limb falling off and I would still avoid seeing the doctor. Oh, yeah. I'm not avoiding it, honest. I've just not had the headspace to organise it. It's my excuse. Yeah. <clears throat> Bear with, just finding a comment. <laughs> Was that John? Was that Brummery Cellar up there? We were watching oh. John's video earlier. Yeah, this that's a very good point, Scott. Often they sadly stereotype rockers with drug-related heart attacks. It's very sad how the press will comment before everything has been found out. Indeed, yeah, it's, it's an indeed. easy assumption to make. And sadly, quite often it, it, there is an element of truth in it, but we, we don't know. And until we know, well, Leanne was saying maybe we, they do have an idea now, but yeah. it is incredibly sad. That's, that's the main thing. It Take is. away. When you move, will you remove your listings and start again at the new place or set time away and move listed stuff organised together? I would imagine mm -hmm. we will, yeah, put time away on. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that. Kind of pause eBay for mm -hmm. however long it takes. I think that's what Chris did when Chris moved to Torquay. Yeah. I think he switched off because it's going to be a huge upheaval and you don't want that extra stress of thinking we've got to get everything sorted and straight because i've got to start packing again on monday oh so yeah i would imagine we'll switch it off for a good couple of weeks maybe even just just to get straight at the other end um neil says how far from the coast are you looking well this house we want to look at um this one's more about, inland than we yeah, were thinking about 45 minutes from the coast maybe but that's possibly the compromise we're going to have to make to get the property we want yeah. with a with a separate self-contained annex the nearer to the coast you get that is harder to find within our budget so that i think what we've learned is come in land not masses but half an hour 40 minutes maybe and then it opens up a whole wealth of properties and we're like oh okay that works now yeah so it, the coast is still a nice day out or even if you know on a weekend we can hop in the car and it's, yeah so we're not too far away there, there are some areas of the coast where we could afford it but but we're getting further away from we don't really want to be more than two hours from here, yeah my parents and, and around here it's all a compromise but yeah, so you, yeah you, ha you have to find different compromises yeah um what would you do if someone wanted to buy the house of all the town i very much think that would never happen <laughs> yeah I, I very much doubt it tim but if if that was a deal breaker yeah have the tat as well <laughs> catherine says the same you could always buy the sell the house build the tat i doubt anyone would want it honestly oh, um tara picker says how far from the nearest pub is the place that andrea's already bought in her mind actually there isn't the, the, no the one we're thinking seriously about there isn't a local pub not a walkable one anyway no no we would, have, would have we would to have to get a taxi <laughs> but then like we said we you know well, apart from the pub quiz we don't really regularly no go to and the i pub think as such i think we would just get a taxi into uh, the local town yeah, we went out on a night out yeah it's not a deal breaker no. we love a pub but it's not a deal breaker i went on that ride in florida yeah, yeah so did we oh it broke down near the top Oh, uh, we had to go inside of the mountain and th oh, blimey, we, we broke down at the very top of um, Space Mountain. Space, with there's a video on this channel. If you yeah. search like Nick Hill's Space Mountain or something like that, yeah. you'll see. And I filmed us having to get out of the carriage thing, 
And then we went down all the, inside the, the dark, because Space Mountain's in the dark. Yeah, well, it? I had to like, turn the lights on. Yeah, but... they, all the lights came on and yeah, and I filmed so the whole thing. So that was fascinating, seeing all the workings behind it. Yeah. <laughs> that video does really well as well. Yeah. People are f and then we went to, um, what's it, Universal. Universal went, uh, right Broke down on a Harry Potter. We one. went on the Harry Potter one, and I filmed on on that as well. And that video does even better. Yeah. The broken Harry Potter ride one. <laughs> we were cursed that holiday. Well, I think it just happens regularly, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, <Yeah. laughs> I loved my pager. I used to get the footy results on. Oh, it. really? Yeah. Oh, Pete, wow. that's clever. Um. I only just got here, gutted to see we missed out on some Disney tap points. Oh, oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, too late. Um, <clears throat> income from a separate property is a smart move. Plus, it will appreciate in price. Mm. Yeah, we were talking about this today. It's like, yeah, your your investment just stays there in the bricks and mortar, doesn't it? And the fact that we can take a revenue from it. And X amount of years down the line, we could choose to sell up and move on again. And none of that investment has gone anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, we love the idea. It's it's such an efficient way of, with relatively little work, instantly having a second business um, and hopefully an income. Obviously, we've got to do the work in promoting it and letting it. But Airbnb do most of that for you. That's the beauty of Airbnb. You're suddenly listed on a platform that knows how to find the people that want to live in the rent a property like yours so yeah yeah it's great i'm so excited at the idea um neil said he dumpster dived in lecherth tip the other week i'm 60 quid up already and hope to be 200 in profit once all sold at the tip they're really hot on that how did you get away with that <gasps> oh he asked the guy was cool Oh, it says that he asked and the guy was, ooh, I'm surprised they said yes. Oh, I'll have to chat with you about that and see what you got. Apparently Phil Collins has just performed for the last time. I feel like he said that before. He's like Cher, he just keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> the last, last, last tour. Yeah. Well, Carter USM have been doing that for like a decade. <laughs> This is the last tour ever, honest. The last show at Brixton Academy ever. And then they do another one. He's so far behind now. Oh, um, James says, um, will you go green when you move? Solar panels? Well, definitely we want to get an electric car. We, If we can um, work it with the finances, we would like to fund purchasing an electric car. Um, there with, is one downside to moving to the country, though, which I don't really like, but there isn't any way around it, and that is oil central heating. A lot of them are on oil central heating, but yeah. it's not the end of the world. And I don't know if we can convert, but we'll have to see. Normally, I think, and then tell me if I'm wrong, it's because the gas mains aren't there. Yeah. Um, and I think the property we're going to look at is one of those. We've seen loads in Suffolk we've looked at that are on. Because at the moment, um, we're with Ecotricity. So both our electric and our gas are green, electric and gas. Mm. So that's not potentially something that we'll be able to do in the in the country. So I don't know. Well, we'll look into what we can do and how much we can do anyway. Hello, John. Oh, yeah, what? we were watching your video earlier. Yeah, I, I messaged him, <laughs> had a brief chat. Um, we were both going, ooh, and then and I was like, human league there. Oh, Yazoo upstairs at Eric's. Yeah. So that, has, has it still got the Depeche Mode album? I believe so, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Depeche Mode, a broken frame, which I don't own on vinyl, surprisingly. Yeah. And Pete picked up one for me as well, which I'm pretty sure was some great reward, wasn't it, Pete, that you, you, you're you holding on to for me? Um, which we're going to have to try and pick up when we go down to the Ellen next. So... This guy, whoever you are, sorry, STJ, is by, um, just writing song lyrics. Is this, a, is this a quiz? What song is that? Guys, I'm a blonde bimbo girl in a fantasy world. Dress me up. Make Barbie it girl. Oh, yes. I'm a Barbie girl. Yes. 
Well done. Dress me up, make yeah, it well, tight. This is the kind I'm of your place darling. Like. I'm not very you're good at my lyrics. dad. You're my dad. Rock and roll. I'm, I'm so not good at lyrics unless I can hear the tune. Yeah. Yeah. We love my a brain, pop quiz. Oh my, my goodness. My brain just doesn't work that way. Yeah, whoever that is, keep them coming. They're fun. Oh, thank you, Dave. It says love Sundays. This live streams are always great to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, Gareth. Oh, no. Gareth. Oh, you've tested positive. Well, hopefully you won't. Yeah suffer too much with it and it'll be in it being over yeah. it in a few and i few hope days. everybody who tested positive last week and wasn't well last week is feeling much better this mm. week and please give love to auntie sue as well because she also has tested positive today so yeah yeah it's just yep. it's rife isn't it at the moment oh it's spreading like crazy yeah but thankfully it is not as terrible as it was in the very early days so we have come a long way you know yeah haven't we hospitalizations are still under control yes. um what's this how weird if one sunday we all tuned in and there was nigel and angela <laughs> what here when we've gone do you mean <laughs> broadcasting with all the same stuff behind them yeah. imagine that if somebody bought the house on and did a spoof of us <laughs> Oh. Great podcast with Shed Flips, a whole other side of Lonnie. Oh, okay. I've I've lost track of what Lonnie's up to. I need to catch up with what he's doing. Uh, Richard Dutton says, exciting times for the move. I often watch but not chatted much before. I've recently started selling on eBay. It is it the same? Uh, is it the same? I.e., twelve point nine percent end of sale charge for all or is there a better way on ebay it works out roughly sort of around 15 percent. it varies a bit in categories now doesn't it now they've changed the way they work it out but no ebay fees are ebay fees there's no kind of better way like discounted rates that i'm aware of or stuff yeah um there is a little bit if you have a store in that you don't incur listing fees i'm sure you're aware but the final valuation fee is that it's what they state it as, and that's it, isn't it? Unless they've got any offers going on, they sometimes give offers out, don't they? You know, lower final value fees and stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, RH Tube says, ours is a small world evacuation video. Oh, we'll have to have a look at that. Has over 50,000 views. We normally get a few hundred. Ah, uh, it's a small world evacuation video. I wonder what that is then. Oh, it, the ride, it's the a ride, small yes. world evacuation. <laughs> I was waiting for it to click. <laughs> I didn't twig. That, wow. I'm not a big fan of that ride. That blooming earworm song, you just, oh. I, I don't really understand head. why, Phil, but um, we're not looking at a second property. We're looking at having a annex to rent on our own one property. Um. Have you ever had an item that is an absolute nightmare to sell? I was watching your video the other day where the young guy with the other channel was going to buy Heelys. Had mine oh, nearly George. a year. Oh, George was going to. Yeah, he didn't in the end. Um, George is in the chat, I think, if he's still there. Yeah. There was a time when we did pick up those fairly regularly and they shifted. I think the craze is gone, maybe. But I, that, that's the thing. Reselling, there's, it's constantly evolving. And stuff that maybe 10 years ago we'd be all over, we avoid completely now. And So you have to keep up with it a little bit. Maybe Healy's is one of those. The moment's gone. Yeah, Dawn, we're not um, completely naive to it. We do know that there will be a fair mm. amount of organisation and obviously maintenance and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're, we're completely on board with that. Anyway, no, it won't be a walk in the park um oh it's 10 past james said i get the people from the tip to bring me stuff all the time the drive to my house they drive it to my house and i pay cash awesome nice um <laughs> richard said i no, it isn't richard Derek, Derek. sorry um i have a self-contained old barn which used to be a little cottage at the end of my land would love to renovate and airbnb it but probably too much expense to make it worth it 
it would be worth looking at the numbers mm. though honestly um at what you could potentially let it for because it might make sense um oh interesting chris you can have an lpg tank for gas mm. i don't know much about well, we, we need, need to look to, into yeah, it we, do. we need to look into but it but it's all a pie in the sky at the moment you know but we there is a fairly high chance that it will be a PG, LPG, um, yes. That's who my son worked. Oh, Laney's son. Well, what were we, what were we talking about? <laughs> what, what, who was? <laughs> half an hour ago. <laughs> I can't what think we what we were about? talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to whiz to the end because we oh, are... Oh, ecotricity. Oh, right, really. <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, sorry if we have missed a lot. What song title title made number one three times in the same year and the three different bands artists? <sighs> there was um, The Power of Love. There was Jennifer Rush, Huey Lewis and the News. And Frankie Goes to Frankie Hollywood. Goes to Hollywood. Maybe. That sounds about right. I mean, whether that was all the same year, though. Could be. Feels like it might. Be. I don't know. I'm guessing. Uh, do you not do Amazon anymore? Not currently. No. Um, okay. Uh, I want to know if I've got that right now. <laughs> but there's been loads of pop quizzing going on in here. <laughs> yes. The All right. Yeah, the yeah, energy. Yeah. Oh, we're at the end. We're at the end. Right. What we normally do at the end of the Sunday chats, if you are new, is to end on a positive, uplifting word of wisdom. So if you have any. Pop them in now. We'll read a few out and pick one. Where's Jeff? He's gone. Yeah, he's gone back to bed. <laughs> he got bored of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was here briefly at the beginning. Correct. Yes, 1985. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, Libby Lou says, I think you would both make great hosts, both very warm and personable. Thank you, Libby Lou. Yeah, I'd, I would like to think so. And I think also because we're not actually naturally... Um, Sociable. Sociable. We we would know to to give people space and recognise that. You know, maybe go and say hello and then you know, leave them be. Yeah. Well we yeah, because we, we appreciate that ourselves when we go away and rent an Airbnb to have our own space and not have people like hundred percent overlooking and we whatever. One holiday actually we went down to Kent and we, we rented I think that was an Airbnb, wasn't yeah, it? Was sandwich. No, actually, it was cottages.com. Cottages.com. There's several of these sites you can use. And that was in, the, it was a really nice manor house. And behind, I think it was a converted stable block. And we had like half of that. Mm. Uh, but the other half was like their office. And they were sat there tapping away. Yeah, so doing you'd open, the... we've said, well, I think we've told the story before. Yeah. But you open your curtains in the morning and they're there just there like, yeah, and I wander around naked a lot. So no, <laughs> That's an image people just don't need in their heads. But that was that was borderline almost too much. You know, we we felt a little bit looked at, didn't we? Yeah, that there. was. It was a lovely place, really lovely. It was. It was so nicely done. But it was. <laughs> it just felt. It odd. just felt a bit. So you'd be yeah. sitting there eating your breakfast, looking out the window, and there they'd be like doing their on the phone and do whatever. They, oh, they they ran a. Um, um, they hired people for pantomimes, but they produce pantomimes. pantomimes. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Monkey Thrift says pop quiz met a hula mistress somewhere in Waikiki. Oh, that's Wigwam Bam, isn't it? No, maybe not. Um, where she was selling pineapple, <laughs> playing ukulele. And when I went to the girl, come on and teach me to sway. Oh, I that feel Bam? like I know that. <gasps> I, I met a hula girl somewhere in Waikiki. It is. It's black lace, isn't it? It's not the push pineapple oh, shaker tree. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yes, that's what I'm... Yeah, Agadoo? It's, it's wig, not wig, my mum. It's Agadoo. Yes. Is that Agadoo? Yeah. We're going Agadoo. It was, I knew it was black lace immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite place it. Right. Um, music is the answer, no matter the question. See, you You've know we like those music. you got that on your... Well, John sent me that. Yeah. Music is the answer. Um, oh, they're all coming in. Sorry, sorry, we digress. One of my favourites, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. I love that. I have that on a T-shirt. Have you? It's Dumbledore. 
Oh, is that Dumbledore? Yeah. Uh, words of wisdom, moving house. What? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> um, RH Tube also got back evacuated from Phantom Manor and had a breakdown on Peter Pan. Oh <laughs> so their words of wisdom are, don't go on the same Disney rides with us. We thought we were bad, but you just break everything. <laughs> wow, that is, oh, that's some serious bad luck. Yeah. Peter Pan and Phantom Manor. Um, right, let's do this. All, all this chat about Airbnb, I think I'll put an RV in my backyard and rent it out. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Why not? Um, right. Oh, you, that one comes up every, every week. week. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stephen says, um, good, better, best, never let it, never let it rest until your good is better and your better best. That's a tongue twister more than a <laughs> word of wisdom. <laughs> but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to end up with a Norfolk axe. I don't know what a Norfolk accent like, is. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> is that right? Was that Norfolk? <laughs> Norfolk dog accent. Don't be mean, go green. Mm -hmm. James, thank you. Four candles. Sorry, that was last week. <laughs> yeah, we've done that. Always have spare cardboard boxes. Indeed, that is a very good word of wisdom. Yes, I like okay. it. I'm so in love with you. I'll be forever blue. That you give me no reason. Oh, I know this one. You, you know, you're making me work so hard. It's a little respect. Yes. Erasure. That you give me no, that you give me no, that you give me no, that you give me no. So I <laughs> hear gonna... you calling. <laughs> I don't think I should oh, join in. baby. The cats will start waiting. Please. <laughs> Jeff will be howling in a minute. <laughs> when we went to Erasure, it was like if you kind of tuned your ears into what was going on around you, it was a cacophony, yeah, wasn't it? it was. Those are middle aged men belting oh out Erasure gosh. and women just all singing at the top of our voices. It was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. An Erasure gig. It was the first time I'd seen them, surprisingly, but it was just like a sing song the whole night, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was brilliant. One of the best gigs I've ever been to. <laughs> That would be wonderful if we were. It would be, yeah. We'd welcome yeah. you all. <laughs> you would be welcome. <laughs> we'll put the kettle on. <laughs> never, never. This feels like this is bitter experience. Oh. Run out of sticky tape. I've got about 100 rolls in the loft, so I'm okay. I'm okay for now. Okay. Um, be yourself, not what people want you to be. You're both lovely, positive thinking. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Be yourself, not what people want you to be, indeed. Yes, Sally Kelly, Black Lace. I knew straight away it was Black Lace, but couldn't place the song. Nick did a Life of Brian window open scene. Yeah, I was joking, but it, that's what it felt like. You know what I mean? Morning. Oh, they're sitting there piping. I don't know what to, I don't know where to look. Because <laughs> their office had like a big, like sliding door thing and then off it and then desks in it like kind of open plan so you could i know yeah oh it's all a bit weird um right yes agadu 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 sorry <laughs> we're behind. Times, oh no they didn't <laughs> oh yes they did yes they did okay uh we have all that really matters is that people we love are happy healthy and safe very nice. Yeah, I like that, Elaine. Life is funny. If you don't laugh, you're in trouble. Oh, do you Taylor know, Hawkins. That's the one we need to go for this week. I think we will. Yeah. Yeah. In honor of Taylor, God. words of wisdom. That's got me. <laughs> you won't be able to read it. No. <laughs> Life is funny. If you don't laugh, you're in trouble. Yeah. On that somber note, then. We will leave it there. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Sorry if we didn't read yours out. Uh, we'll try and read a few more out next week. Um, we are, have an incredibly busy week. I'm not sure what video content there will be. You've got one coming, though, haven't you? Maybe. Yeah, haven't quite finished it yet. But we have so much to do with the with the house valuations and going up to week. Norfolk, hopefully Tuesday. I've got orders to do tomorrow. I might throw together a video tomorrow if I can while I'm doing some orders. orders to do. I've got to tidy up. <laughs> well, heck of a lot of tidying up to do. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, thank you. I'll just read that. You are great people. I'm, so sh I'm sure you'll be great hosts. 
you're so sociable as you maybe wouldn't be doing live streams we're sociable to a point we're, we're, we're we better like, at it these days we than like we to, to be sociable <laughs> i'm very socially awkward so <laughs> yeah. yeah but we do we do enjoy to be sociable give your subscribers a discount at code and your airbnb will always be full it's not a bad idea that is it <laughs> Okay. Anyway, thank you for joining us this week. I yes. hope everybody has a fantastic week. Yep, stay safe and we'll see you next Sunday. Are we here next Sunday? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. Take care. We'll see you soon.